Detroit is the true star of tonight's episode of the national docuseries Beerland, airing on Viceland tonight at 10 o'clock. And it's a TV show that explores the culture and inspiration of home brewers across the country. And one of the brewers featured on tonight's show is here with us in studio this morning, Sean Murphy. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. Nice to see you. Mm -hmm. And you're going to show us how to pour the perfect beer. We're going to get to that in just a minute. Okay. We have to turn to the expert. But first of all, let's start with home brewing. How did you get into this? Well, I saw uh, a need in the community. There wasn't a lot of home brewing going on in my community, so I decided to um, invest in the equipment and share it with the community and invite people once a month to come out and um, get involved in home brewing. And what kind of beer are you, are you brewing most often? We brew all different types of styles from all over the world, but we specialize in what we call a Detroit-style beer, which is hybridization of different global styles into one perfect match. Kind of like what Detroit is all about. Yeah, okay, and speaking of, of Detroit and, mm -hmm. and kind of getting some exposure on this show, tell us what the show is all about and how this even came about for you. Well, the TV show Beerland, I had never heard of it until they contacted me. I don't watch a lot of TV, but it turned out it was a show about a brewery out in L.A. that goes around looking for the home brewers of various areas, mm -hmm. and then they, they put them in a contest, and whoever wins the contest gets their recipe uh, distributed through their brewery out in L.A. Oh, that must have been a really great experience. It was great. We had a great time, yeah. And what do you think it is about, about Detroit? I mean, we know why we love it so much, but what do you think it is about our city that made them want to come and, and be a part of this? Well, they really didn't know a whole lot about what was going on in Detroit. I had to really fill them in and tell them about all the wonderful things that are happening community-wise, rebuilding the city, um, strengthening culture and communities that are already here, as well as the whole new Detroit thing happening. Um, it was, it was a wonderful experience. We, we had a great time. And when folks watch the, sh the show tonight, what can they expect? Well, I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, I you hope, haven't seen I hope it. they edited it in such a way that, <laughs> that, that I approve of, of course. I'm sure but, you did uh, great. you know, national TV has a tendency to become a little, uh, a little mainstream. <laughs> yeah. We're very underground and we're very um, uh, directly tied to our, our community. So. But you had a, a great experience being It was a part great. Of this. Yeah, we had a great time. My son and I, we, we, really, um, we really appreciate the opportunity. Yeah. All right. So in terms of the, the perfect pour and pouring the perfect beer, you want to show us a... Well, there's, what, there's, no, there's an art to there's it. There's no such know? thing as, as no? perfection. And all, all beers are a little different. Yeah. This particular beer is a triple stout that when we open our brewery, 10% uh, of the proceeds to all the sales of this beer are going to go to Dobbles and Bad Bead Museum on Grand River. Oh, nice. Now, some beers require a little bit more headspace. Some beers don't have much mm -hmm. head at all, but this is going to be nice and frothy. Okay. It should be about one finger. What you want to do is you want to pour down the edge of the glass. You don't want to, you know, gulp it when it, you know, the, the shoulder of the bottle, uh -huh. you want to keep that so it doesn't chug and you want to just pour straight through. And so then it's when just you, a smooth stream there. Yeah, mm -hmm. And then when you get to the top, you want to finish it off just like so. There you go. That's the perfect way that's to finish it, in case it, it off, right? Yeah, that's how you do it. In case <laughs> you don't want any spillover, yeah. you know, that would be a sin. No, beautifully done. Beautifully mm -hmm. done. And what is it, for, for people who, who may want to get into home brewing, what is it that you love about it so much? And is there any advice that you would give them? Uh, there's a lot of things I love about it. First of all, making your own beer is not as difficult as you might think. Mm -hmm. And it's usually 10 times better than beer you're going to be able to buy at a grocery store or a beer store. Um, we offer the opportunity for anybody who wants to get into the sport to come out on first Saturday brew day that our okay. club, Black Bottom Brew Club in Detroit, we sponsor this and we, we let people use our equipment. We started a homebrew equipment mm -hmm. library. And if you make advanced plans with us that you're gonna show up on that Saturday, which is the first Saturday of every month, we'll have all the ingredients and all the equipment ready for you to make your own beer and walk away with your own beer to get you into it see if you're going to That enjoy sounds like a craft. perfect way to kind of get started. And yeah. here is the information again tonight at 10 o'clock, Viceland, and you can stream it online tomorrow as well. We'll have more information on our website, wxyz.com. Thanks so much for coming in and Thank congratulations. You. Kevin.